YouTube, it's your boy WTF, back at you guys for another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the top 10 legendary Gen 3 Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I'm very excited to share this with you guys. I love all the legendary Pokemon and Gen 3 has, it has 10 legendary Pokemon that are going to be coming out. And in today's video, we are going to be ranking those 10 legendary Pokemon and I'll be sharing with you guys the top 10 legendary Pokemon that are going to be coming out in Gen 3. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, make sure you guys like the video and if you guys don't have notifications on, make sure you guys put on notifications so you get notified every time we do a video. Alright guys, I'm going to get right into it here. At number 10, it is Regirock. Regirock is one of the three legendary titans that are going to be coming out in Gen 3. You can call it the legendary trio or the legendary titans. Right, Regirock is a rock type Pokemon with a max CP of 2492, attack of 100, defense of 200, and stamina of 160. Regirock's quick move is rock smash and rock throw. Its charge moves are power gem, rock slide, rock blast, and Stone Edge. It is going to be weak against fighting, grass, ground, steel, and water. It's going to be strong against flying, fire, normal, and poison. It's going to be a great counter for Grudon, Jirachi, and Militech. So there again for you is one of the three legendary titans, Regirock. Coming in at number 9 is going to be Regice. Regice is one of the other legendary titans, our second one on the list. It is one of the trio. Regice has a max CP of 2492, with an attack of 50, defense of 100, and stamina of 160. Alright, Regice has a quick moves of Frost Breath, Ice Shard, Powder Snow, and charge moves of Aurora Beam, Blizzard, Avalanche, and Icy Wind. It's gonna be weak against fighting, fire, rock, and steel, and strong against ice. Its best counters are gonna be Registeel, Blaziken, and Luna Stone. All Gen 3 Pokemon. Once again, here is Regiice with a max CP of 2492. Coming in next is gonna be the final of the three legendary titans and it is Registeel. This is my favorite one of the legendary titans guys. Uh, it personally looks the coolest out of them and it has the highest CP of the legendary titans for generation 3. It's got a max CP of 2683 with an attack of 75, defense of 150 and stamina of 160. So this should be able to hold up pretty good in battles. And it is a steel type Pokemon given the name of course. It's got a quick move of Bullet Punch, Iron Tail, Metal Claw, and charge moves are Flash Cannon, Heavy Slam, Gyro Ball, and Iron Head. It's going to be weak against Fighting, Fire, Ground, but it's going to be strong against a lot of types. It's going to be strong against Bug, Dragon, Fairy, Flying, Grass, Ice, Normal, Poison, Psychic, Rock, and Steel. The best counters are going to be Hariyama, Numel, and Tri-Pinch. So here it is again for you guys, Reggie Steel. This is the final of the Legendary Titans coming in at number 8 on our list. Alright, moving along, going to number 7. Number 7 is going to be Deoxys. Deoxys has multiple forms. Alright, coming in at number 7 is the normal form for Deoxys. With a max CP of 2,677, attack of 150, defense of 50, and stamina of 100. Deoxys is a psychic type Pokemon. Its quick moves are Confusion, Extrasensory, Psycho Cut. Its charge moves are Future Sight, Psycho Beam, Heart Stamp, and Psychic Strike. It is going to be weak against Bug, Dark, Ghost, 
It's going to be strong against Fighting and Psychic. Its best counters are going to be Armaldo, Dustox, and Nuzleaf. There again is Deoxys. Now to show you guys some of the other forms for Deoxys, it's going to have three other forms. It's going to have a speed form, which is right here. Looks pretty sweet. It's also going to have an attack form, which is right here. And it's going to have a defense form. So all the forms, not sure how you're going to get the different forms when it comes out in Gen 3, but all the different forms should be the same max CP. So once again, here's the normal form, the speed form, attack form, and defense form. Alright, moving along. Coming in at number 6 is Jirachi. Jirachi is a steel and psychic type Pokemon. Now this is one tiny Pokemon guys. Look at what it weighs, 1.1 kg. That's nothing. But look at the max CP on this thing. Chirachi has a max CP of 3,299 with an attack of 100, defense of 100, and stamina of 200. So for a little guy, this is going to be one heck of a strong Pokemon. Alright, Chirachi's quick moves are going to be Bullet Punch, Confusion, Iron Tail. Charge moves are Flash Cannon, Future Sight, Gyro Ball, and Heart Stamp. It is weak against Fire, Ground, Dark, and Ghost, and it's strong against a lot of Pokemon, including Dragon, Fairy, Flying, Grass, Ice, Normal, Poison, Psychic, Rock, and Steel. Its best counters are going to be Clay Doll, Whiskash, and Camerupt. So once again, here is Jirachi, coming in at number 6 on our list. This is going to be a pretty sweet Pokemon to add to the collection. For a little guy, I'm hoping he is going to be able to do some great damage in the game. Alright, moving along. Coming in at number 5 is Ladius. Ladius is one of the two forms in the game. There's Ladius and then there's Ladius. Ladius comes in at number 5 on our list with a max CP of 2,000. 931 with an attack of 80, defense of 90, and stamina of 160. This is a dragon and psychic type Pokemon. Ladius has quick moves of Dragon Breath, Extra Sensory, and Dragon Tail. Charge moves of Dragon Claw, Mirror Coat, Dragon Pulse, and Psychic. It's going to be weak against Dragon, Fairy, Ice, Bug, Dark, and Ghost. It's going to be strong against Electric, Fire, Grass, Water, Fighting, and Psychic. Its best counter is going to be itself, Ladius, Gladly, and Sealu. That was a little surprising. Um, I didn't think uh, it, it's going to be weak against itself. <laughs> but it is, once again, a Dragon-type Pokemon, and, and uh, Psychic as well. And its max CP is going to be 2,931. Alright, coming on number 4 is going to be Ladios. This is the second form of Ladius. So there's Ladius or Ladios. Now they are gender driven, so one's, gonna, one's a female and one's a male. Alright, Ladios has a max CP of 3122. It is a dragon and psychic type Pokemon with an attack of 90, defense of 80, and stamina of 160. Ladios has Quick move of Dragon Breath, Confusion, Dragon Tail, and charge moves of Dragon Claw, Mirror Coat, Dragon Pulse, and Psychic Beam. It's going to be weak against Dragon, Fairy, Ice, Bug, Dark, Ghost, and strong against Electric, Fire, Grass, Water, fight, Fighting, and Psychic. Alright, once again, Lidios, coming in at number 4 on our list. Alright, let's get a drum roll here for the top 3 Pokemon. Coming in at number 3 is... Grydon. Grydon has a max CP of 4,112. That is crazy, guys. A max CP that we've just crossed the 4,000 mark on. These top three all have crossed the 4,000 mark on the max CP. As long as Niantic doesn't nerf it, these Pokemon are going to be the strongest in the game. But more than likely, knowing Niantic, they probably will nerf these Pokemon down. But as we have it right now, this is going to be at a max CP of 4,112. Grydon is a ground type Pokemon with an attack of 150, defense of 140, and stamina of 
200. Gridon has a quick move of Mud Shot and Mud Slap, a charge move of Bulldoze, Earthquake, Drill Run, and Mud Bomb. It's weak against Grass, Ice, Water, strong against Electric, Poison, Rock. Well, its best counters are gonna be Ludicilo, Shifri, and Troyas. And hopefully I'm pronouncing those correctly. Here it is once again guys, number 3 on our list is Gridon. Getting to the number 2 spot. So this number 3 and number 2 you guys might think, alright why would I put number 2 at, at number 2 and number 3 at number 3. I think they can go both ways, however I'll tell you guys why I have number 2 there and Gridon at number 3. Coming in at number 2 is gonna be Kyogre. Kyogre has a max CP of 4,112, which matches Groudon. Now, Kyogre I put at number two because it's a water type Pokemon, and until to date, Vaporeon has been taking that number one role with being the strongest water type Pokemon, and we desperately need another strong water type Pokemon. So that's why I put this at number two because. This water type Pokemon is going to probably take over the game. I cannot wait for this legendary to come. This is, ah man, one of the sweetest and best Pokemon in the game that I cannot wait for. Its max CP once again is 4,112. Its attack is 100, defense is 90, and stamina is 200. Alright, the quick moves for Kyogre are Bubble, Splash, Water Gun, Charge moves, Aqua Tail, Hydro Pump, Brine, and Skull. It's going to be weak against electric and grass. It's going to be strong against fire, ice, steel, and water. Best counters for it are going to be Spectile, Govil, and Minum. Alright, once again, our number two spot is Kyogre. Alright, finally, going into our number one spot. All I've been waiting for this, and some of you guys might have already guessed it, because I've talked about it before as well. And Gen 3... This is probably one of the strongest Pokemon in the game, for sure the strongest Pokemon in Gen 3, and it's going to be right up there with Mewtwo and some of the strongest Pokemon to be in any of the generations. At number 1 is Rayquaza. Rayquaza is a dragon and flying type Pokemon, and for most of us, this is probably our most favorite Pokemon because it's one of the strongest Pokemon, and it compares right next to Mewtwo. Can't wait for this one to come out in Gen 3, but knowing Niantic, this is probably a year or two down the road. But in any case, let's talk about Rayquaza. The max CP is 4,602, with an attack of 150, defense of 90, and stamina of 210. Rayquaza, once again, is a Dragon-type Pokemon, and wants to show, show you guys right there again, it is a Dragon-type and Flying-type Pokemon. Its quick moves are going to be Dragon Blast, Air Slash, Dragon Tail. Its charge moves are going to be Dragon Claw, Aerial Ace, Dragon Pulse, and Air Cutter. It is going to be weak against Dragon, Fairy, Ice, Rock. It's going to be strong against Fire, Grass, Water, Bug, Fighting, and Ground. Its counters are going to be Salamence, Altaria, and Shalga. So once again, you have it there, Rayquaza. Alright guys, but that is going to do it for this video. Thank you again for watching guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, and hit that like button if you like the video. Thank you again for watching, you guys have a great one, I'll see you guys next time.